Hey everybody, this is Philip Carter from the Independent Gospel Artists Alliance Conference. And I wanna encourage each one of you, if you haven't already, to register for our uh, Indie Independent Gospel Artists Alliance Conference, which takes place July the 11th through the 13th at the beautiful Mount Church in um, Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, you can go to www.indiegospelalliance.com, register today. It'll be the best decision, the best investment you've ever made under $200. We, we, have, uh, we sold out of our first hotel and now we are on our second hotel. You can book your hotel and get a 10% discount. Uh, we have a host of clinicians coming. We're talking about streaming. We're talking about legal aspects. We're talking about marketing and promotion. We're talking about a wealth of things at our conference. And it's not like there's nothing else like it uh, because we do a two and a half day boot camp training you on the business while we have awards, while we have nightly worship. But our focus is the education. So look, here's the question of the day. How long should I push my product before I move on? How long should I push my product before I move on? Well, it depends on what your goal is. So an independent artist has at least two years to push one single product where a secular artist may have only 60 to 90 days before they disappear. You have the benefit of pushing a product for a long, long time through churches, through um, social media, uh, through other venues that you may have. Um, and you can push single songs off of that product uh, to make that product last a long time. A lot of us will push a product in our area and then once we have exhausted our area, we, we start to work on a new product. But just think how many people outside of your area, how many churches, how many cities, how many smaller towns have not heard your product, have not heard your single or whatever you're trying to push. Uh, and so you want to exhaust uh, all of this money that you've spent, you want to get the full value out of it. And the only way to get the full value out of it is to push that product all over the country, tour with that product, make t-shirts off of that product, um, derivatives, cups, mugs, whatever you need to do, but work what you have already um, spent time and assets putting together so that you can maximize that product. And then when you put together an additional product, let's say a second CD, now you have two products to push. So now you can go back and you can, you can and, and retrace your steps and do the same thing all over again. Um, and you know, that's how independent artists stay alive. We have products and we have streaming, we have all these different things that we can take advantage, we can take advantage of, we have merchandise and you ought to push something until you have ex fully exhausted it before you move on. Just because your mama and, and her two friends heard your product does not mean that it's time for you to move on and spend another ten to twenty thousand dollars on a product. Take your time, put together a full marketing plan for that product, and then push it uh, as far as you can before you decide to move on to the next thing. All right. God bless all of you. I hope this helps somebody. Um, I hope it deters somebody from spending more money. And I hope it confirms to somebody else who was really wondering how long they should stay on a, a CD product or EP or even a single. All right. God bless. Take care.